Welcome back to Zacchaeus. Today we're doing an unboxing of the Google Chromecast Ultra. That's a mouthful. The Google Chromecast Ultra. Now, if you have one of these, then you need one of these. Because this talks of this. It's called casting. And I got this before Christmas and I've got a couple of them now. I'm kind of uh, in between Alexa and Google Home. Um, I like both of them. Um, Google Alexa has a great uh, speaker, but that's for another video. So if you have a Google Home, you can say, hey Google, turn on Daredevil on Netflix. This will then cast over from this to this and if you have a smart TV, it'll turn your TV on. It'll change to the HDMI port of this. If you have the, you have a, you know, a really good smart TV, most of them do that, even older ones. And then this will immediately turn on your Netflix, your HBO, whatever it may be, and start playing the latest episode that you're that's next in line for you. So we had to get this, and of course, when we buy stuff, we unbox it for you. And we try to review it too. Um, with Christmas and the holidays, I'm a little behind. I've got a ton of videos to edit, but we're still gonna keep putting out the videos we think are relevant first, and then uh, later we'll we'll do the reviews and stuff. But right now, the unboxings are important just so you can see what's inside of it and see what you're getting and talk a little bit about what it does and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's unbox the Google Chromecast Ultra. So I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. It's just kind of a really cool product, a very simple unboxing, not a lot to it, and yet it's jam-packed with all kinds of features. Again, if you didn't hear, um, the disadvantage of this is, compared to other products, is it does not have Amazon Prime Video. So if you're an Amazon Prime lover and member like I am, you're gonna miss that ability to, to watch it. Now, the, the reason I got this is for this because these go kind of hand in hand I can now say supposedly I haven't tried it yet but I can now say uh, hey Google play uh, Daredevil on Netflix as I said before or play you know whatever on Hulu or HBO 
play Westworld. And that will turn the TV on, turn the channel, start playing the video. It just is supposed to make it very seamless, remoteless. Another disadvantage or advantage, depending on how you look at it, and based on if you have a Google Home, it does not have a remote control. Everything else that on the market that is, it's competing with has a remote control. You do have a remote app, so you have to open your phone, find the app, and control it that way. Um, Amazon has an app as well, and I find it very cumbersome to open my phone up, find the app, make sure it's connected, rather than just picking up a remote and clicking next or whatever. So I'm interested to see how I like that. But um, it definitely, definitely is great for casting. I wanna get the audio one, so something they're doing that's really, really good with their Google Home and with stuff like this is really connecting them all. One of the disadvantages to Amazon's Fire TV and Echo is Alexa cannot, you cannot talk to the Echo and say, Alexa, turn Netflix on. You know, turn Daredevil on. She'll be like, I don't know what you're talking about. She can't see the Fire TV. So Amazon's really missing a huge advantage and an early advantage because they've had all this stuff out for a lot longer than Google to have all that connected. I have multiple Echoes and I still just baffled why Amazon will not allow me to play a song on all my Echoes or a couple of my Echoes or switch from one room to the other. Like sometimes I'm listening to a great song but I need to go into the next room and I want to take it with me. With Google Chromecast and, and casting products and Google Home and all the, the nesting family, it's all connected and supposedly you can just cast it, cast it along through the house or cast it all throughout the house or cast it on a couple. So as I add cast products, Google Chromecast and cast audio and um, this one's the Ultra because I have a 4K TV, um, I just want to see how that, how that works better. I may end up going away from, uh, away from Amazon. The, the only thing that really holds me back and is really a disadvantage to Google and Apple is that they don't have Amazon Prime. They need to stop fighting. Roku, my smart Samsung TV, my Xbox, my PlayStation 4, all these have Amazon Prime. It's just the major players, Google and Apple, are fighting. It would be beautiful if Amazon also said, hey, let's put iTunes or the new TV Apple app on our Amazon. Google said, hey, we'll let you play our Google stuff through your stuff. And they just kind of let the consumer pick the best device that works in their home and um, didn't hinder people from buying products they want to buy. Like, I, I want to buy Google products. I want to buy Apple products. I want to buy Amazon products. I don't want to be hindered or niched into a product, though, just because it doesn't have everything I need. And so that's a, that's a big disadvantage. Um, I'm hoping that that will change, that they can separate the lines. Like I said, I had to buy this at Best Buy and I'm a huge Amazon person, and I can't believe I can't go to Amazon and buy an Apple TV or a Google Chromecast, and I don't even think I can buy Google Home. And so you have this ginormous store that you're supposed to better get anything at, but they can't, they can't separate the lines of, hey, this is our store, these are our products. They're, they're blurring the lines, causing heartache for the consumer and not really saving themselves or making themselves any money. I'm not going to say, oh, well, I can only buy an Amazon Fire TV on Amazon, so therefore I will not buy a Chromecast or an Apple TV. No, I have an Apple TV. I had to buy it from Target. Um, I believe I got it from Target. Um, I have now a Google Chromecast. Where did I go? I went to Best Buy. I had a gift card. I would have bought it probably on Amazon because they usually have a better deal. It's easier for me. That's where I like to shop. But they didn't save themselves any money or make themselves any money. They just caused me, their consumer, their fan, a lot of heartache. So if you're listening to Amazon, we also love Google products and Apple products. We are a consumer mostly of a lot of different stuff. And for someone who's a techie like me, I really, really am just looking to try things and get the best thing to make my life easier, funner, 
or more fun, I should say, as my sister would correct me, and uh, just automated. I love when I when I walk in or walk out that my Nest thermostat's know to shut off, my cameras know to come on and monitor the house. I'm, I'm looking for that that uh, effortlessness in in everything, in media, in lights, in just alar arming the house, uh, being notified. I've now, if you've seen the video, my cue, you've seen it. My garage now is all automated, so I know if someone opens it or closes it, I can open it and close it from anywhere that I have an internet connection. It's just really, really nice. And I actually just gave one of those to my parents. So watch that video. They're getting up there in age and they love it because they've forgotten to close their garage door a few times and you know knock on wood nothing's happened but it, it notifies them if it stays open longer than 15 minutes or you can set it for any time you want mine's an hour and then oh I, I've already been notified a couple of times oh you left your garage open I thought I was gonna go back out I forgot I got busy and my garage is standing open it's just like and I can just flip it down close it and that's why I buy these products, because I'm looking for ease. Do I need an Amazon Fire TV, an Apple TV, and a Google Chromecast? No. I also, I also have an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4 and a TiVo that all will play Hulu, Netflix, HBO, PlayStation View, DirecTV Now. They all do the same thing. I don't need all of these. But because of the division, I, I Google Home will only talk to this right now. Echo doesn't talk to Amazon, so I want to use voice to turn on my TV and so forth. Hey, if you like this video, we hope you give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Please subscribe. That really helps as well. You'll get notified of new videos, home tech, things for men, awesome stuff. Check out our other videos. Comment below. And my battery's about to run out, so without further ado, uh, we will catch you in the next video. Peace.